Mm. We need to walk further. Are you alive? Hello, good evening, Hello. and welcome to Come Paint With Me, and uh, with uh, special guest Reggie. Hello. And also special Hello, guest... Hello, Instagram, Facebook. <laughs> Hello, special guest Molly as well. Uh, so I have set up the uh, easel in my room so that we have a little bit of a different type of look this evening. Um, I was absolutely mortified hello there absolutely mortified when i did an amazing live last weekend uh, sorry last monday night it just looked awesome if i do say yep. so myself and then i pressed a button <laughs> and it was no more so uh i almost cried but i had people uh with me so i uh i didn't quite cry but, uh, but yes, it was not good. Right, bear with me a second. I'm going to try and... No, you can't do it because you haven't got me on. Oh, there we go. No. I'm going to share to yep. my page. Then we go. Facebook has prohibited me from sharing on other pages in some way. Is that because you have just been like... Happy I think so. I don't know. Like, like happy clicking. Happy clicking. Trigger happy. <laughs> Trigger happy trigger on happy. Facebook. Well, no, that sounds too awkward, doesn't it? Trigger <laughs> happy. That is, uh, that doesn't, yeah, that's not really positive. Um, so, but I, I, um, I, I, guess what? We have some good news. What, Angela might be news? joining me to the Netherlands <laughs> to do some live art on the streets in uh, October, at the end of October. Right, so now I have to do it, don't I? Because you just literally told the whole world that I might be coming to the Netherlands. You might you. be. To you be, might be to, uh, to live paint oh, oh dear Instagram Ooh. you can't well, we can see do what I'm painting we can do some exhibitions oh, in the go. Netherlands so Angela can take some paintings with her um, like a suitcase with her paintings her stuff do some like uh, we can stay for like about a week at my family's oh we can actually maybe mm, stay at our friends I don't think I can stay for um, a week well, and, okay. um, and just to uh, to have fun indeed in the Netherlands in the Netherlands <laughs> Man, you're going to be famous there. Yeah, but not here. Uh, I need to here be, too. I need to be famous here. Right, well, we're going to start some painting in a minute. Um, but, and maybe I'll chat whilst, uh, Reggie, would you like to share this around so that we get some... Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, sure. Did I put my doggy down? Although, you know, I have tried painting... I'll share it around. With, Let me just do it. ...with the doggy. And uh, she... Uh, let's see how long I can paint with the dog without getting paint on the dog. Have you shared it around on your own page? I've shared it on my own okay, page, Okay, do yes. it again. There we go. We're going to share it a few times. So, do hello do do Instagram. Do 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 <laughs> hello. Do 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 do. Hello, uh, hello Facebook. So this is Come Paint With Me, episode three. And we are continuing the, uh, the butterfly painting going to finish it this week and so it will be available for sale next week um i love butterflies and i am going to start doing a series of butterflies Ooh. um i really do need to paint more i have so many series series is that a word series in my head um that i want to do but we all know i have a full-time job a husband a dog uh, and various <laughs> husband and a dog. Uh, oh dear. Various, various well, husband is a job too, isn't <laughs> it? Absolutely. Various, <laughs> various other commitments, oh. um, and so need to find more time to paint. My dog is like trying to sniff my arm and see if there's any food. She just loves food. Um, so yes. I'm sharing it in a lot of pages. That's great. So last week uh, we were. La no, we were actually like physically live, as in we were like in person live at the wine press, uh, press, press, <clears throat> in a local beauty spot in Hollingworth, uh, besides Hollingworth Lake. It was, it was a lovely, lovely, lovely event. It was the launch event of Come Paint With Me. Oh no, I've just found a brush that's like gone really hard you know when brushes go really hard let's see if i can make that soften that brush 
uh, and it was it was just great. It was it was a really lovely event. Uh, the wine press is such a lovely restaurant. Um, the food was great. The company was great. We even had a a bit of a photo shoot um, outside of the uh, wine press by Hongworth Lake before we started, <coughs> which was just really lovely. Um, so there's lots of photos of me posing. Um, and, and yeah, and so we had a, a girl there that she hadn't painted for a while. So she hadn't painted since I think 2017 or something, which mm. I'm like, that's not massively long, but I, you know, she's at university now. So for her, that's, you know, quite a long time. Um, and yeah, she really enjoyed it. She produced some really nice artwork. I will be posting. Ooh. I will be posting uh, some of that on, if I haven't already, <coughs> on my Instagram, which obviously ends up on Facebook as well. I want to see why we've got a bit of a, like, glary thing going on. It's all right. It's a oh, light. It's a light. That's fine. Not much about it. You shine. I shine. That's fine. That's you enough. shine. Oh, dear. With a bright, shining light. Okay. Okay. Please. Um, so... With this program, feel free to comment, like, share, laugh. There might be, an, I'm sure there's a laughing Ooh. emoji as well. So especially if you hear more of Reggie singing, you <laughs> you might want to laugh more. Um, oh dear, what have I done? Um, oh, that's what you get when you invite your crazy husband. <laughs> it's true. Your crazy, funny husband. In Everyone, they're the all going to be like, they're going to be like, bring him back or not, as the case may be. Um, Let's do a poll. Let's see what the people want. Oh, what we want? Bring we... your husband back into the show. Oh, oh this could be dangerous, Reggie. Leave. This could be really out. dangerous. No, oh, I mean, leave the husband out, but now I have more time. Uh, to do what? A lot of things. Oh, that's true. <laughs> to write your book. Yeah. Um, shall we? So, uh, you want to tell us? All right, so Reggie, Tina, you're on here, and we always talk about me. Yeah. Uh, you want to tell us a little bit about yourself? So, uh, what do you kind of do for a living? Well, for a living, I am a, a web and graphic designer. So I make websites for uh, small, independent, medium-sized businesses and Christian charities, organizations, churches. And I also do graphic design. So I do graphics, uh, but I can also do proofreading uh, for books and loads of different other things i mean we're kind of like for all markets at home isn't it yeah like so oh what, dear watch it what's going on don't leave on there oh <laughs> it's so tiny this room it's like the day of the triffids like everything just kind of like coming in at you we're gonna go to a car boot on saturday aren't we love um anyway yeah. what's it gonna say um, yes, yeah, so come paint with me with special guest Reggie tonight. Um, I'm sure we'll get some people jumping on soon, but this will go on YouTube later anyway. <coughs> so uh, you do graphic design, you do yeah. a web design, and how can people find you? So people can find me on Vendinta Freelancing on Facebook and Instagram. Great. And uh, there's also a new website coming up soon. Oh, uh, I'm yes. going to be building a brand new website. Very exciting. For the business. We'll be building a brand new website for you. Yes, yes. For the art stuff. Yeah, exactly. Very good. So I am literally not in... I'm, okay, I'm in Facebook land. But I'm not in Instagram. Oh, now I'm in Instagram land. Instagram. Hello, Instagram. I love it. We call it land these days. <laughs> um, okay, great. Uh, what, I, and I heard, Reggie, that you were writing a book. Can yes. Tell us about yeah. that? So I am writing a book about my uh, journey uh, through some of the things that I've been through myself uh, as a child and as a young person and how that has actually also affected my, um, you know, my my way of living and my life uh, for years, mm -hmm. uh, until I found faith in Jesus. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, what what more do you want to know? Uh, when is it out? When's your book out? Well, um, 
I need to be careful what I say here, but um, <laughs> I'm literally almost finished with chapter seven of my book where I'm honoring a fallen hero, a hero, well, fallen, not fallen, but a hero who has uh, manned the world to me, besides Jesus, of course, um, my own per my own dad, mm -hmm. um, who sadly passed away in November 2022. Um, I'm writing a chapter on, on kind of like a bit about his life and all the incredible memories I've had with my dad Aww. and um, and also just the incredible memories where we both shared faith with other people and stuff. Wow. So, um, so I'm chapter seven. I'm waiting for my amazing <laughs> wife, Angela, Who, to oh, write who, who's a chapter. That? Who's that? Yeah. I'm just waiting for Angela to write a chapter on her pers on her uh, journey, like her side of the story, journeying with somebody who's had a mental health issues background, a mental health background, a mental health issues, and and also um, waiting answer back from one of our dear friends who is a retired psychiatrist mm. um, to see um, just to see whether he wants to write two chapters on uh, mental health statistics and how. Um, you know how we can tackle mental health in churches we do and that. how we can help people in you know the journey through when we look at the church and how the church can properly look after people that struggle with mental health issues yeah. so um, so I'm waiting for that but the hope is to um, you know to launch the book hopefully mm -hmm. uh, God willing by uh, by Easter 2025 okay so next so, year yes um, um, i mean i've been saying this for years like i want to release this book and, do, and then every single time it doesn't happen but i've said it online now so i need to do it <laughs> so it needs to happen this is true this is yeah. true um and and where will we be where will we be able to get that book so that book will be available on amazon yeah as a uh, digital book, yeah, to start like with. Audible. To start with, uh, so Not I might put it on Audible as well, oh, that's so a lot people of can buy that's it on audio. Lot of work. Um, yep, I know, uh, but you know what? It's it's my it's my personal story. Like, it's not my biography. It's my personal. Well, kind of. Yes. Kind of we'll part two of my biography. We'll come to that in a minute. Yes, kind of like a part two of my biography, but more. Mm -hmm. Um, focus down on my journey to finding my identity in Jesus, yeah. in Christ, and finding who I am, um, and also uh, you know the journey that I've had through you know getting free from depression, anxiety, yeah. and you know loads of other mental health issues that I struggled with for many years. So if you're not a Christian, because um, then we have lots of viewers that not, yeah. not necessarily. Um, into faith how is the, your book going to help them I think my book will help them to put practical steps in place to overcome mental health issues right like I just really believe my personal journey you know most important thing for me was that I had the right people around me the right network yeah. people supporting me you know in, in, in coming to the point where you know I found I found freedom yeah. from you know all these struggles you know the depression anxiety yeah it's also like i had to learn my self-worth and how much i'm worth myself yeah um which was a journey for me too and i'm still in that journey because you know i'm i'm not there yet no i always learn yeah so um yeah I'm reading my messages yeah yeah i mean so i mean that's really good reggie because obviously um a lot of you will know um that the whole idea behind come paint with me we actually started during the pandemic, yeah. didn't we? In our old right. house, in our oh yeah, I mean, five bedroom house that was big enough to do a studio and everything. Big enough to have a studio. I mean, to be honest, the room was not much bigger than this, mm -hmm. but for some reason we didn't have all the junk in it because all the junk was in another room. But in this house, it's like all the, everything's just in this room. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all the the miniature stuff, the. Um, what do you call it? Uh, car boot sale stuff, all the, everything. Just everything is in this room. Um, but yes, so we did it in the old, the old house, and the whole thing behind it was about um, promoting well being and promoting yeah. wellness and um, and mental health. And one of the things, like I'm not an expert, I kind of 
I work with a lot of people who have mm -hmm. mental health struggles and and one of the things that I've noticed um, that those people who have a really good support structure are the kind of people that yeah. um, are able to get, find resilience. They're able to bounce back. They're able to um, to kind of carry on with their lives. They're able to to, to build that that life again for themselves because although they may have like you know had that period of time that mm -hmm. almost like that blip. Uh, you know the the fact that they have community uh, really really helps them. Yeah. Um, the thing that we were, you know, the thing about one of the one of the reasons behind come paint with me is it's that sense of building community. Yeah. It's Precisely. that sense of combating isolation, um, but through art. Yeah. Through through painting, through being um, creative. So uh, we have these programs now, obviously, and um, we're thankfully we're not in the pandemic. Um, and, but no, we used sure. to have a Zoom. Uh, do you remember that? I don't know if you ever. Were you ever? Yeah, had, yeah, yeah, yeah. A well-being Zoom uh, art it. session. Did you ever come on any of the sessions? I think so. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we used to have a, a Zoom call, and people would come on there, and they would paint with me. Mm. Um, but you know, I just that this come paint with me idea came to me um you know i as i'm a christian too so i'd say you know god kind of gave me that idea um <clears throat> like you know during that at, right at the beginning of that time actually uh because i kind of like nick so sort of not nicked it but like you know from another it's a yeah. play on another uh program but uh but yeah so that sense of building community mm. um and being able to be creative together uh, because you know there's lots of um what's it called lots of uh research out there and i i i was doing like an essay um at the time that says that you know creativity is is really good for your well-being it's really good for your for your for your mental health um yeah during the pandemic i wanted to create a space where people could just have a go and just feel like they could be free to create what whatever. Um, so, so yeah. So um, it's you know you're talking about mental health. You're talking about your the way that you were able to yeah. combat yeah, it. The way true. that you were able to really um, you know have victory and struggle through. And, yeah. Uh, so you know that's very much kind of like the foundation of come paint with me. It's not just paint parties, you know. It's 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 more than that. It's about it's about building community. It's about yeah, very much so. Um, being able to uh, you know, kind of have those tools to kind of protect ourselves against our mental health kind of deteriorating, but also about mm. um, you know, combating isolation and stuff. Yeah. Um, and the other thing, I don't know, did you find this yourself, that um, when you don't have anything to do, it can really affect your mental health? It does, it does. I'm actually really happy that I have work up until October half term. Um, yeah, that's really good. Yeah. So. Because what, what, for, for you, Reggie, do you remember the times when you didn't have anything to do? What, what kind of would happen to you? I guess it would just go kind of like in a downward spiral, feeling depressed, feeling anxious and just really worried and everything. Mm -hmm. Now, obviously, for the Christians among us, you might be like, oh, no, what, what is there to be, you know, down about? You know, like in all circumstances, just rejoice. Mm -hmm. But you know what? And there's this whole taboo that um, it's not OK to not feel OK. Yeah, exactly. Like it's okay to not feel okay yeah. but don't stay in it exactly yeah um and i mean i'm i'm learning you know this is a journey for me too um i know that uh, sometimes you know when when not having work you know and not really feeling like i have anything to do it can kind of you know like get me into a very downward spiral yeah. making me feel useless making me feel worthless making yeah. me feel you know that that i don't um you know that I don't belong and, yeah. and all of that um, but then when when I have things going on you know and I and I'm I discipline myself to and be determined and tenacious <laughs> to, to go for things what you know like 
like we 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 got to go for things. Mm-hmm. We we got to be audacious. Mm-hmm. You know, have have audacity. Have mm-hmm. have audacious mm-hmm. dreams. Have audacious goal. Audacious. Yeah. Big, holy, audacious goals. To yeah. Be honest. Um, awesome. Yeah. Big, audacious goals, and 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 you know things that you want to do, and then do something with it. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, it's like that sense of like having a goal, isn't it? Having a having a dream, yeah. having an aim. Yeah. Um, because like when you don't have an aim, it's like where where do, how do you know where to point to? How do you know like where you're going when you haven't got a destination? in mind it's really difficult to 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 kind of like get going to be motivated to be inspired um and yeah so so for you reggie like when you you know you you have something to do it kind of helps you to stay focused it helps you to kind of um and then also kind of like stop necessarily thinking about all oh, my mental health, but like actually, I'm oh, like oh, this needs to be sorted. That needs to be do, sorted. I've got to sort something out here. I've got to, yeah, yeah. Um, like having almost like having responsibility, isn't it? Like having responsibility, it kind of like helps you change the way that you're kind yeah. of like, yeah, very true. Thinking, um, so yeah. and I think that you know, we can paint with me. Obviously, it's not responsibility, is it? Uh, it's um, no, it's not responsibility at all. It's, uh, but it's having something to do with yeah. it. It's having, uh, and you know, when it comes to painting and being creative, one of the things that you can do is like have have a goal. Um, like, um, you know, I've come across lots of beginner painters recently, or heard of lots of beginner painters. And you know, even by coming, you may never have done painting before. I really want to just move that down there so it doesn't look like, there we go. Oh, that's, um, better. that's better. Um, you may have never painted before, but this could be the beginning of like not just a hobby, but something even more than a hobby. Yeah. Um, because I've heard of people who uh, I'm going to need to just I'm going to put this movie over here. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's better. That's better. <laughs> um, heard of people who you know they just start painting at the age of forty, for example, and you may find that actually you know what I'm going to make a. I'm going to make a career out of this because people do, you know, um, and just even having a goal of like, you know what, by such time, I'm going to finish this painting, not because uh, anybody's going to necessarily buy it or, you know, they may do, um, but it's just really good. It's really good to give yourself goals. And I think it's really good for your mental health to uh, to give yourself goals um, so mm. that you've got something to, you've got something to aim for. Um, now, yeah. At these events, so and at these um, events, yeah, uh, mm-hmm. because uh, so Reggie, do you want to uh, before we we talk about the the upcoming event? Yeah, do you want to talk a little bit about um, last week's event because you were there, weren't you? I what, was. What was your take on it, um, and what what happened last last Monday? Uh, well, I, I I personally I'm I'm a bit embarrassed because I didn't paint myself. I know. Why didn't you? Paint but I was just there to make photos, just videos, just you know, just being there to support you. Absolutely. And that, that, so, that was um, obviously really good. You will have, yeah. You will have seen that there are, there's um I'm putting like these uh, testimonials or like little interviews uh, both on Instagram and Facebook and YouTube, um, and so you know red. Reggie did some of them, and he did all the, a lot of the pictures, you know, the the graphics, the last, yeah, the last graphic that went out, the last uh, poster that went out, or the last post, Reg, Reggie um, designed that, you know, he's very much uh, our chief. Uh, I did the one before, um, <laughs> and I don't know which one's the best, but uh, but yeah, so he's very let's much not like. Let's have a poll about that. Let's have a poll about that, but um, you know, he's like the chief designer in lots of ways. Reggie's my my biggest champion uh, I often yeah. think that you know he always says how much he lo- loves my art and sometimes I'm like well you know you're my husband but actually I think if he didn't like it and you know quite often if something's not right he'll go do you know that bit there it's not quite right and you need to do this and you need to do that and I'm <laughs> like you're not even an artist what do you know but so uh, <laughs> so I know that if he says that he likes my art and stuff he's not just he, he does actually genuinely like it. Is that right, Reggie? Let me think about that. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of um, course. Yeah, anyway. I, I got to promote your event. <laughs> You've got to promote my event. Right, so, uh, yeah, do you want to tell us about... Um, 
Yeah, yeah, just back at you know. Um, Mental health. But no, no, back at that that you know that event that we did last time, uh, the first one last week. Yeah, last week. It yeah, was let's just let's incredible. Talk Let's talk about that. <clears throat> Why was it incredible? It was incredible because you've had, um, you know, we've had three people come over. Um, <laughs> that's fine. We have to tell people that it's we're fine. Three. It's okay. Yeah, we we were waiting for you. <laughs> we we're waiting for you to sign up because you know what? You've really missed something. It's been incredible. It was so awesome. Um, just just painting in a restaurant. Yeah. Um, I think that was um, yeah, that was quite a quite an incredible experience yeah, yeah. to just um, you know just being there and and for people actually people came by and were like, what are you doing? Yeah. Like and um, we managed to just connect with a few people, didn't we? We did. So. Well, fortunately, I didn't have anything to give them, which was just. We'll make sure for the next we'll one. The next one, we're gonna have. But yeah, it was it was good. It was it was really good. Yeah. Uh, so what did we do? So we painted the lake, wasn't it? So, um, oh, this yeah. example let's, here. Uh, let's give some examples, show some examples. There we go. Okay, you're not too close, because it's not finished. There we go. Oh, right, <laughs> okay. Should we show them the one? This is the one I go. really like. Uh, this, is, so this, is, this is what I did for them to, uh, to like go. Yeah. This is what you should do, everybody. So they kind of here. did, I think, a bit of a combo. Oh yeah, did we did we did we do the other one on Instagram? What? Did we? So I don't know. Well, I don't think we showed you. So that one is the one. Yeah. Uh, these will that be available did. for sale very soon. Uh, that one will be being finished soon. Um, and this one, I particularly like this one. And I just, yep, I exactly. did like, I did so much painting last um, last Monday. I was like, right. I need to do lots of practices. I need, I need to practice painting the lake. So I yes, literally, exactly. I won't say how long it took me, but you know, I just, I kind of did it and I was like, right, I need to like know that when I'm in front of them, uh, because actually, you know, I do more things like this and gosh, I'm surrounded by paintings here. I obviously do my, um, let me show, show you this. Again, I'm gonna start getting these all out for sale soon, but um, you know, I do my pattern stuff. There we go, uh, which I haven't actually kind of like put out there very much recently. And, um, you know, I'm going to put out more stuff um, in the coming weeks. I'm definitely around, well, obviously going to work up to Christmas. Mm. Um, but I have put, um, I'm be doing kind of like a campaign, not a campaign, like a sort of a sale ar around um, greeting cards at the moment. So really working on yeah. a greeting cards campaign. Um, and so um, that is what I am pushing at the moment, my greeting cards. Uh, so if you need some greeting cards, then head over to Etsy and you'll be able to um, buy them on there. Or if you know me, you can just kind of, you know, connect with me and we can work something out. Um, but uh, yeah, so tell me, going back to the event last week. So what was, um, what was the highlight of the event for you? So I week? think my, sorry, excuse me. I think my highlight very much that was like, you know, all of them that have been involved painted something, you know, great, you know, yeah. in their imagination. The highlight also is obviously all this painting, you know, the campaign with me by the lake, so mm -hmm. come paint with me in your home or yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. things We've that you're gonna do. Ideas, yeah. um, you know, I, I think the most important thing is, what I like about it is that it's for everyone. Yeah. Like you don't have to be an artist no, to right. you know to do it. You don't have to be somebody that is a pro at what they do. You c it's for anybody. Yeah. And I think that's kind of like a highlight of your um you know of your event yeah. of your campaign with me events that you're doing. Yeah. It's for everybody to just go yeah, exactly. and to do what they want to do. Exactly. You know, I'm I can't paint by the life of it. Um, I'm, I, you know, I'm 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 a rapper, but um, I, I used to be a rapper, uh, but um, you know, I'm creative in that way. I'm creative with websites and with, yeah. with graphic design. Definitely. But but give me you know, give me a a paintbrush or give me a um, you know a pencil. Oh, um, and look, it's not think, frizzling again. And I don't think. Say hello to the pooch. <laughs> what, so, here's Molly. Come on, paint the dog. No, I don't think Molly would be very happy about that. <sighs> I'm just seeing how long can I paint with the dog. 
Yeah, I, I can't. I sadly, I sadly can't paint that well, um, Mark. Um, let me just see. Did you just say what am I painting? No, oh, can no. you paint Reggie? No. no uh, I can't. Right, no. Yeah, yeah. I mean, not even like this. No. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, I am gonna try and pa paint Reggie at some point. I've I'll done my like, sketches. Oh, and I'm gonna paint the dog as well. Right, you know when you said paint the dog? I thought you meant paint the dog. And then I realised you mean paint the dog. So yes, I am. I'm going to. I've been um, practising the sketches of Molly for, well, I've not done one recently, but there's quite, I've got quite a few of them. You might have seen them on my Instagram. Or they might have made it to Facebook. So yes, I don't know whether it's going to be like next week, but, you know, we, we're going to, in fact, great idea. I was thinking autumn. But we could do Autumn and Molly, Autumn and Reggie. Autumn background. You mean painting me? I don't mean like physically painting you. I mean like painting <laughs> you on a canvas. Yes. No, sure. Yeah. I, I wonder, Mark, did you mean... She mean he means like if this. I can paint or if Angela can paint me on a canvas? Yeah, that's what he means. Okay, cool. <laughs> anyway, so... That's great to have you with us, um, Mark. Okay, so go on. What were you saying about the event last week? That it's really it was good just great. Everybody it's good could. for everybody. It's a nice and rich last week. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm not, I'm not getting you some new glasses because no. Not good. Not, not good. good no. no. So, um, so let me just say this, um, Mark. You can even invite Angela to come and do a campaign with me party in Germany if you want to. Yeah. Um, and you can gather people together and we're all going to paint, um, we're all going to paint you on a canvas <laughs> and uh, paint some glasses on uh, on your, I, I know, you don't have any glasses so that doesn't work. Um, but um, but yeah, we, we can actually paint in the area where you live, isn't it? Because yeah, it's yeah. absolutely beautiful. I've uh, Is it? checked out where you live, Mark, oh, wow. um, because you told me some time. Uh, so we can maybe come over to Germany and you do it like a campaign with me party in your home yeah. for uh, or, or somewhere and then paint the river or something like that in yeah. your, your area. Um, yeah, let us yeah, know. That is true. Um, so, yeah, it's for everybody. And uh, personally, I think next time I'm going to join in. Yay! Yeah, next time I'm going to join in. I'm going to have so a go. what are we going to do about finding a photographer? We're going to have to find a photographer. Yes, we? exactly. We need to find mm -hmm. someone to do it. Yeah. Um, you know, your, your your first event was great. I, I really enjoyed it. Um, as in, you know, being able to make photos and videos. And uh, now, um, you know, with the second one that is coming up yeah. very soon. Yeah. Somewhere in November. That's right. Um, yeah. you know, Sorry, the, before, before we talk about the next yeah. one. What was your favorite thing about it? Did I ask you that question already? Yeah. Did I? What was your highlight? A highlight? I did say that. Every, the people that came out that painted whatever they wanted to paint, you know, without yeah. even whether experience or no experience. I think the highlight I thought as well, like the beautiful view of the lake whilst you're yeah. having the party and the food together. Yeah, okay. That was, I was absolutely gonna say, great. I'm going to talk about I the enjoyed food. the food. My well, goodness. The food was good, wasn't it? <laughs> hey Tina! No. Yes, Molly is uh, accompanying me to paint tonight. Uh, she's she's just chilling here actually. She's quite enjoying kind of. She's you know how she shakes when she's scared. Well, she's, she's uh, quite enjoying the painting. I think isn't she's quite she? enjoying the painting. We're gonna uh, we're gonna. She just she loves being hugged. Uh, used to you do love? Yes, I did. Yeah. Oh. I don't know if I've seen Aladdin. I've seen David Bowie. The David Bowie ones, very, uh, very good indeed. Very good indeed. You've got, uh, you've got skills there, my friend. Uh, so uh, yes, well done. Um, move over, Artantics. Uh, make room for Mark Brusler. Um So uh, yes, very good indeed. Um, yeah. Yeah. So uh, I don't know. Tina, whether you knew about the event last week, uh, there's so Reggie, uh, his CD name. Oh right, that's his name, Aladdin, Aladdin Sane. That's his name. Okay, all right, interesting. Um, anyway, so uh, this is great because you guys can chat to me. You guys here online, Tina. 
like oh, to give she the sees this one. a try, but I really can't paint her heart. She sees this one. What, she, what do you mean what she's seen? Tina is seeing this yeah, painting. Yeah, yeah, this is, yeah. So, Tina, need to, so let's talk about come paint with me. Do you want to recap a little bit about... So last week, um, Tina, Mark, um, everybody else who's watching out there, we had the first come paint with me launch event where... Yeah. At the wine press in Hollywood Lake. Yeah, it was very close by. Yeah. Um. Oh, the name of the album, right? Yeah. Um, and uh, you know, Reggie was just saying a minute ago that it's all—it's the fact that anybody can have a go, right? Yeah. Yeah. Everybody can have a go. It's fun. <laughs> there were two people there, weren't there, that had never painted? Yeah. Before. That's right. Um. So, so no excuse really, uh, because um, yes, it is uh. It is, uh, what's the word? Suitable. It is suitable for anybody. Um, you don't have to be able to paint to come to these events. Yeah. In fact, the idea is that we get lots of people who can't paint, so that they have a go. They realize, actually, this is quite fun. And, um, you know, I might try this at home, or I might come and do this again, or, yeah. So, so yeah. Reggie, tell us, when is the next event? So, the next event... <laughs> ...is the 18th of November. Fantastic. Monday, the 18th of November. That's It's great. the next Come Paint With Me event at the Wine Press, Hollywood Lake. Fantastic. So, if you live close to Hollywood Lake and you can make it, come out it's uh 30 pounds until the end of october mm -hmm. that includes a meal and materials and then also if it's after october you pay 35 pounds including meals and materials so if plus, i were you plus, plus, plus booking fee plus booking fee if you book via eventbrite but if you but know if you wanna, me yeah sorry. if you know angela straight book via Angela and you don't have to pay the booking fee on Eventbrite. Exactly. So um, it's going to be incredible. It's going to be the same uh, same thing again. Um, so it's going to be absolutely incredible. Yeah. Uh, please do come across um, to Hollywood, uh, sorry, Hollywood Lake, to the wine press in Hollywood Lake. Yeah. Um, on Monday the 18th of November yep. at 7 p.m. is when we start yes that's when we start doors open. so doors open from 6 30 that's right p.m. that's right that's so right. if you want to book in to the next come paint with me life and you're gonna actually see me paint as well having a try having a go that is like everybody a, else a weird not a weird <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, you know, I'm not like this, everybody. I won't laugh at you. Uh, but if my husband is, it doesn't matter. So, uh, <laughs> just to tell you a funny story, can I say a little funny story? Yeah. Can I tell no, you go, story? go ahead. Uh, go ahead. Get into trouble? Yeah. Will I get no. in trouble later? So, sorry. so, when we were courting, uh, you know, dating, uh, he may. I still got it. See you if know? I can find it. Oh no! Yeah. Really? Gonna, You're not I'm embarrassed. Gonna I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna find it. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. Oh. oh. Anyway, it? it's in a suitcase. It's, it's in with all the paintings. So anyway, whilst we were um, courting, you know, dating, uh, I don't remember how many weeks it was, but Reggie was like. No, that was it. He did it in the Netherlands, so we weren't even dating. We were talking. Hello, whoever's joined us from... Um, and he says, I've made you a present. Uh, I've painted you something. And I was like... And I thought, oh, that'll, that'll be nice, thinking that you could paint. Wow. And it was basically uh, a love heart with a bit of colour on it, not even there block colour. I got it here. Oh, no, what was it? Oh, look at this. Angela, you are precious, not even on the same line. Um, okay, guys, but if you create something like this, it's okay, all right? If you <laughs> if you come to the event and you create something like this, I promise you I won't laugh. But if you're Reggie Van Dinter, I will laugh in your face. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's got glitter on as well. He was trying to woo me. 
this was his way of wooing me and look at this guys i've not thrown it away oh you've not seen it here you go look instagram world this is this is what reggie did for me um i've not thrown it away i've kept it cool heart oh mark likes it mark thinks you're an artist uh, i have I have thought about painting over it and using it as one of my canvases you know when, I'm, when I'm running out <laughs> oh, Molly what do you think she wants to eat it <laughs> you know what I might frame it I might find um, I'll use it as a doorstop um, <laughs> I need to find a hook you know what I've said to him I thought I've said you know what I think I can make it better I don't know how I can make it better but uh, I've, I've <laughs> I don't know I can make it better uh, anyway maybe we should have a poll is there a way of doing a poll yeah m m m all my life Molly chews she does chew quite a lot of things <laughs> sometimes I have to kind of like find food I mean obviously I feed her um, I'm actually quite proud of this <laughs> Oh, anyway, like I said, the whole point, Reggie, that's impressive. See, Tina's very kind. See? Tina's very See, kind. See, I'm actually quite an artist. Oh, yes, I do. Yes. Um, Would well, you know what? You know, we're all artists, okay? We're all creative. <laughs> yeah, I really, truly believe we're all creative. And, you know, you, you could say the reason why I'm slightly better is because... Slightly better? You're much better. Being You're nice. a pro. I'm being nice. Um, slightly better is because, you know, I've been doing this a long time. I have been doing art since I was three. <laughs> That's true. It did woo me. Have to, I let you into a little secret, Matt. It wasn't the painting. Um, <laughs> it wasn't the painting that uh, that, they, that got me to marry Reggie. Um but yeah where was i where was i going with that uh but so yeah i've been i've been doing art since i was three and you know um you'll read my story you'll hear it on here you'll hear it on my shorts you'll read it on my blog you'll read it in my book eventually that you know um god used art to save me he he literally did like you know i've been doing art since i was three and it's mm. got me through some really tough times um, even you know even recently um, I'm not going to share tonight but um, I'm going to share uh, over the next few mm. weeks and so we'll we'll maybe we share our story yeah 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 look no not oh right I will do that one but yeah look here and here antennas are here and here mark <laughs> so uh, yes it's, it's helped me through a really difficult period and you know I think I said this last week, but you know, for many, the pandemic was was really tough, and and then, you know, in, it was it was still tough because we didn't see my family for a little while and and stuff. But painting, I just painted my way through the pandemic. I literally yeah. painted my way through the through the pandemic. Do you you did so many paintings. I did so many paintings. Like well, you've got some paintings that I've you're got still finishing. Tons of paintings to finish. It's you've like a painting against against racism. I've got one against well. racism. I've got one that I've started for a lady, but it's on hold. I got another one I did about parties and balloons in the Netherlands, um, which maybe I could take that to the Netherlands. That's the one that he meant. Right. Okay. In a minute, when when I put out the black. I will, uh, but I've just put out the green, so I'm kind of on the green at the moment. Um, but yeah, I literally painted my way through the pandemic. So in some ways, I don't even know if I know, I did notice the pandemic, obviously. I noticed that, uh, and it's quite funny that I didn't get COVID till the end of the pandemic. We didn't get, we didn't get COVID until, till like the end, did we? Yeah. And yeah. then we got it four times. But anyway, that's another story for another day. Right, I'm going to give the, you the dog, Reggie, because she's starting to, um, yeah. there we go, the dog. Um, so she's, uh, she's okay. She's, yeah. She likes, she really likes kind of, uh, I don't know if she knows that she's on a live right now. <laughs> I think she knows. Um, me too, I do so many people's houses in our village. Walls are easy to make. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He says he can't 
painted so many people's houses. No, I walls painted, are easy to paint. Yeah, 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 yeah. I painted canvases. Uh, I I did a whole Christmas card collection um, through the uh, through the pandemic. Um, and I did a, a bunch of commissionings. I did so yeah. much painting through the pandemic, uh, and I, so I think I think I think a lot of people suffered with um, with their mental health through the through the pandemic. She's so yeah. chill. She does keep looking at the camera. I don't know if she realizes that that is <laughs> that is the camera. Um, yeah, she's she has a moment. She's not always chilled. You <laughs> oh believe us, she's not always chilled. She's not chilled at what time at night? <laughs> Just about when we're about to go to bed. That's when she's not chilled. Yes, okay. Um, she decides to have a, uh, um, a, what you call it? And if you put her down now, she'll start, she'll start like um, going for the toy. Won't she? And no, no. Yeah, you keep holding she, she, if, you, if you keep holding her, she'll be fine. But if you um, if you put her down, she'll want to play. She'll uh, she'll want to go and get her toy, particularly her red her red uh, what was it a red ropey thing? Did you give us that, Tina? She has butterfly ears. <laughs> yeah, I am gonna paint her. Ah! Oh. Oops. You pick it up then. Paint on the floor. Oh no. Oh no. Paint on the floor. It's alright, we'll give us water. Oh dear, oops. <laughs> I've got so much dog hair on me. Oh my life, I've got so much dog hair. Uh, anyway, right, so um, back to, uh, yes, we've got another event coming up on the, um, on the 18th of November. Tickets are out, they're on Eventbrite. Uh, early bird tickets are uh, how much are early bird tickets Reggie? 30 pounds 30 pounds plus what? plus um, plus admin fee yeah, on top book, of it book, booking fee that's booking right booking fee yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, great we go here links on there she does like toys have you found any of her baby teeth yet? good point have we found any of her baby teeth yet? Oh, you mean they've fallen out? Don't think so. No. No. Um, she... hmm? You're almost an hour on. That's good. <laughs> Yay. Uh, is that a Chinese takeaway? It <laughs> is. He's so observant. <laughs> He's so observant. I don't remember where I got this from. Somebody just kind of, you know, as artists, we're very um, resourceful, Mark. We just kind of like um, whatever we can find, we uh, we use. Um, so Reggie, um, what else have we got coming up in terms of compare? Uh, not oh, not about compare with me. We probably have to call it something else. But I don't know. I have no clue. I don't know what else you have planned. You you planned it. Do you remember Christmas? We haven't set the actual venue yet. Oh, yeah, we're going to do a Christmas event, like a special Christmas event with live music here in Littleborough. Yeah. In um, probably the first week of um, December. Yeah, possibly the first weekend of December or the second, depending. Yeah. Um, so uh, we'll be getting out the day. Yeah, we'll be getting the day out for that really soon. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, I've just been organizing the uh, the next paint with me event which is uh and we've said the 18th of yep. november yep, that's um, right. but so uh, we are talking about um doing doing another one uh after that which will be, have more of a a uh, christmasy theme to it which is will be exciting and there'll be some storytelling as well won't there reggie yeah 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 so you're going to be doing some storytelling I'm what month is that in Yes, yeah, so Mark, it's December. So there is an event coming up on the 18th of November in person at a local restaurant by the lake, not far from where we live. And then there's going to be a Christmas, a special Christmas edition 
event that Angela is going to do in our local town here as well, in a coach house, in a, well, in a <laughs> former, <laughs> former coach house. When, when we talked to them about it. Yeah, when we talked about we it then. It yeah, yet. we haven't booked it yet. But we're about to book uh, the venue for a Christmas edition where we're going to have live music and storytelling and food and yes. materials included in that as well. Yeah. So, um, yeah. It's going to be, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. Um, and I think that's it so far. Um, but Reggie, if people want me to come and paint in their area, what do they need to do? Get in touch with you. Yeah. And so what kind of things am I up for doing? So come paint with me at my baby shower. Mm -hmm. Come paint with me at my home. Mm -hmm. Come paint with me at my birthday. Mm -hmm. And loads of other different things. Yeah. Yeah. Not my birthday. Well, no, as I in... go and come paint with them. Yeah. Come paint exactly. With, come paint with them, or come paint with you. We could have like come paint with them. Yeah. You tell stories, okay? Well, uh, that's great. So I tell you what we could do, Mark. What we can do, we can have a in-person edition, and we can have a online edition. Yeah. So obviously, I unless you're planning to come to England, uh, beginning unless of you're December, inviting Angela to come over to Germany, Mark, to that, come and do a come paint with you um, party at your home yeah. or somewhere in a venue and encouraging people to come. Yeah. And then what you can do, Angela can paint whilst you're pre well you whilst you're preaching the gospel, and. Uh, <laughs> you want to repeat that? Uh, I don't know if you're telling us the truth. I am, you mean you could be? Don't know. Anyway, so going back to, um, I so we could do it where uh, you you do it online for us, Mark. If you want to do that, that'd be quite cool. Um, otherwise. Um, it would have to be another another time but i mean i think it'd be nice for you to do it on, online you could tell some stories uh, i'm not sure what stories you're talking about but uh yep <laughs> i'm sure it'll be I'm sure it'll be good mm -hmm. um great uh yeah so um come paint with me all sorts of opportunities uh i could come paint do Obviously, this is my business, so there will be some sort of booking and stuff and in charge and whatever. Fees included. Fees. Yeah. But I can do this sort of thing, uh, you know, at your home. Um, <laughs> um, at your home, at another restaurant, if you've got a group of friends, if you've got a party, you know, you can invite me to um baby showers kids parties yeah, exactly. wedding parties yeah um uh hen parties um i say stag parties it's probably not no. a thing <laughs> but, I mean, you, bachelor, uh, but, but, but uh, you probably don't want me to do something like that anyway no, no. <laughs> uh pet pet parties uh-huh it's like is that a thing pet parties is that a thing anyone um, where you bring all your pets to a party and you have a party with your pets. Do you want to? Do you want to have a pet party? Perhaps we could invite you to you know onto our podcast. We have over nine hundred viewers just on one feed at the moment. We could do Christian painting. Uh, does that mean I'm painting Christian? Does yeah, that mean okay. I'm painting a Christian? <laughs> <laughs> So you mean like prophetic, yeah? Is that what yeah. you mean, Mark? Um, yeah, sounds good. Let me know when. Obviously, uh, don't, I think you do your programs during the day, don't you? So we might need to pre-record it because I work on a, a weekday. Uh, although I am free on a... I need to go to yes, 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 yes. Well, we've got six minutes to the end of the program. We're letting Molly loose. <laughs> she's leaving she's leaving us now look at that well okay she wants doesn't want to be put down she's like no i like it up here keep getting some well, I need to go. okay look what we've got six minutes yes i know um 
So, uh, yes, 1.30 p.m. on a Wednesday. Yeah, unfortunately, at that time, we're both at work. I am working. We're both working. Uh, so if we were to do that, Mark, we're happy to do that, but it would need to be pre-recorded, unfortunately. Um, I don't know how that how that goes for you. Uh, yeah, so on Facebook, five other feeds. That's wonderful. But like I said, I work at that. And so thank you for inviting us. I think you've invited me before, um, which is lovely. It's just we... Uh, we work at that time, unfortunately. So, um, but if you're willing to us to do something kind of pre-recorded that you can play yep. on there, <coughs> then you know that could be different. Um, but so everybody, yes, please like, comment, share uh, this um, <coughs> this post, this uh, program. Uh, it will be going up on YouTube very shortly. We have a YouTube channel. I post shorts on there most days, a um, little bit about my um, journey into being a famous artist. <clears throat> We're not quite there yet. <laughs> Probably <clears throat> a, a million miles away from there, actually. But, um, you know, I want you to join me on this journey. I'm looking for people who uh, like what I do, who want to champion what I do, who want to share what I do. So please um, do... Uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel, click that subscribe button, and then we can actually live stream on YouTube, which would be absolutely brilliant. Um, of course, it'll always still, we'll connect it to Facebook and Instagram, so you guys will have the opportunity to um, to watch the programs as well. Um, but we really wanna get this, um, this out there. And also we wanna get the whole come paint with me. <laughs> Uh, we want to get the whole come paint with me idea out there because I really believe that this is something that's going to be really useful in um, in promoting wellness, in promoting well-being, in getting people to just have a go. I just really believe that there's healing. There's actually healing in drawing, in painting. Um, night, night, Mark. Thank you for joining us. Um, there's really, uh, you know... There's ribbon. I just even believe, you know, there's restoration. God really, really, really used it with me. And, you know, I've only just realized that, to be honest. And I'll be telling more of my story in, in a few weeks' time. Um, but please, we want to get this message out there. We want to get the come paint with me uh, message out there. We want to get people to these events. Uh, we want to get into different uh, spheres, like elderly people's homes, youth groups, children's um, uh, groups parties it's not just about entertainment this is also about well-being and wellness and about really helping people on their healing journey um, because it's amazing what a bit of pain can do it's amazing how the freedom that you can get from just um, having a go so I just want to encourage you to like comment share subscribe to our YouTube channel um, and if there's something particular that you want me to do Maybe you have like a, um, what do you call it? A commissioning for me to do, then, you know, get in touch. We can talk about your idea. I'd love to make your idea a reality. Um, that's what we do as artists. We bring somebody else's vision. Well, obviously we have our own visions and stuff, but we also bring, you know, someone else's vision and we make it um, a reality. So uh, yeah, if that's something, that you would like uh, to do, or oh, Lolly's, Molly's so cute, right. um, then uh, let us know, get in touch, you can send me a DM, and uh, we can, uh, I can see how we can make your dream a reality, so uh, yeah, we've uh, not got much longer to go, I have done some painting tonight, <laughs> haven't quite done the antennas, but I will, uh, this will be, uh, we'll, we'll be doing something different next week. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed me kind of uh, putting the kind of painting this and just seeing it develop. Uh, I won't bore you with the kind of 
I probably will, I might post a little bit of the end, but obviously I'm not going to wait till the next Come Paint With Me episode uh, to finish it off. Uh, I'm going to, um, I'm going to start something new next week. Uh, so maybe you can send me a comment. You can, um, yeah, you can send me a comment. Uh, we maybe do a poll and you can tell me what you would like me to paint. Right. We can also um, look about doing a Zoom and then you can paint live with me or draw live with me. Okay, so yes, my, my beloved honey needs to uh, go because he needs to uh, go to work tomorrow, as do I. Um, and so thank you for, I'm just gonna like over here. Thank you, and I think Molly wants to say goodbye as well. So I'm just gonna lift right. up Molly and uh, there we go. <laughs> she wants to give me a lick. <laughs> Oh, she's so cute. Bye. Uh, yes, so Reggie's going. Uh, so I want to say goodbye as well. Thank you so much for tuning in. I uh, hope you've enjoyed the conversation. Uh, we want to continue the conversation about art and mental health, creativity and mental health, and how doing art can just really give you a new lease of life, can really... Um, night, 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 Tina. Um and just really uh, just help us all on our journeys. Uh, so um, like, comment, share this post and subscribe to our YouTube, YouTube channel. I shall see you next week, eight o'clock, Monday, eight o'clock p.m. Come paint with me. See you next week. Good night. Thank you, love.